What's the cleanest, coolest drink in the world? Come on, that's right, a martini. The great mixologist Valentino Longo calls the martini a magic poem. So Italian. I concur, it's my favorite drink. A martini is all about balance. It's a balance between the main event, the gin or vodka, the counterpart of vermouth, and the water. A classic dry martini uses gin in a two to one proportion, two shots of gin to one shot of dry vermouth. I stay away from sweet vermouth martinis because the balance is lost, they're too sweet. I regularly substitute a high quality vodka for gin, but I love them both. That said, I always try to use a craft alcohol. I happen to like Hendrix Gin and Tito's Vodka, even though they're mass produced. But if I find myself at a great bar with real craft gin or vodka, I'll have the bartender use one of those. Here we have a couple of different variations and they're from Santa Monica here from our, one of our local uh, venues. This is Fair, it's a quinoa vodka, or Haymaker, which is a local craft vodka. And we have two craft gins, which is Trinity Bay. And I, you can see I've started the Trinity Bay. It's good, I like it. And Future Gin, which will be my gin in the future, probably very short future happening very soon. So we can actually start with that. The classic martini, one part vermouth to two parts alcohol, doesn't work for a lot of people. Over time, a dry martini became six to one alcohol to vermouth, eight to one alcohol to vermouth, 12 to one alcohol to vermouth, and 15 to one alcohol to vermouth. I've even seen bartenders take a sprayer and spray the glass or put a drop of vermouth in, like so. Let's open up our vermouth. Put a drop of vermouth in, spin the glass like this, and pour it out. So all you're really getting is the essence of vermouth. There is a reason most people don't like a great deal of vermouth, and that's because it goes sour. It tastes bad, it's that simple. Vermouth is a fortified wine, and like any wine, if it's not vacuum sealed after opening and put in the refrigerator, it'll go bad. Before I order a martini in a bar, I ask if they refrigerate their vermouth and if they say no, I tell them not to put it anywhere near my martini. Good vermouth is delicious, and if kept from going sour, has a wonderful flavor. So here's what I wanna do. We are gonna take two jiggers of gin, and remember, future gin, because it's now in the future. And if I can open it, and we're gonna use a measured shot glass here. I've been chilling my martini glass, because everything should be chilled nicely. So we have a measured shot glass, and we're gonna use two shots, two generous shots. <laughs> and I'm gonna do a shaken martini, classic shaken martini. We're gonna put our ice in here. All right, a nice bar is gonna have those big ice cubes with no uh, air in them but we just have our regular ice cubes. I'm using distilled water. I happen to love this vermouth, which we will seal after we use it. I'm gonna put one shot of vermouth in here. So we've got a classic two to one martini and I'm gonna shake it hard. The harder you shake it, the more it gets those little foamy ice chips, right? So. Well, um, my bad, we're gonna use the chilled glass here. Okay. Now, I don't like olives in my martini unless I'm hungry. So I usually don't use olives unless I wanna eat them. Dinner's gonna be too slow. I like a really balanced martini, I like to use a lemon. I have a Myers lemon tree, which are those really sweet, nice lemons outside in my backyard. And you wanna make sure when you do the lemon peel that you don't get much of the white. The white's actually bitter. You wanna leave the white there. And 
I'm going to twist it in the center of my glass, but not do it over the rim. Too much lemon just becomes too much lemon. You lose the balance. Remember, a good martini is all about balance, the balance of the flavors. Yeah. This yeah. is a delicious martini. It's a classic martini. You can take the taste the vermouth. If vermouth is still not your thing, I have the Greco secret. This is the reason you're watching this and this is the world's best martini, all right? We're going to chill this glass here. Hang on one second. Gonna chill the glass, put a little water in it. We're gonna use a new glass. And I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna do this one stirred so you can see it. So you can see that two parts of gin didn't quite make a um, full martini glass. I'm gonna use a little more than two ounces of gin. We're gonna get our ice in the stir first. Okay. <clears throat> day drinking. It's nothing better than day drinking, although I won't be able to do anything after this. All right, so now, here's the secret ingredient. The gin is really fragrant. You like the fragrance of the gin. Gin's mostly got elderberries in it, which gives it that wonderful flavor. I use a splash, instead of vermouth, of coconut water. Any unsweetened, unflavored coconut water is amazing. And some of you are gonna think I'm crazy, but an ounce to a half an ounce, half an ounce of coconut water gives it that balance that the vermouth does. Give it, gives it that smoothness that the vermouth does without having the flavor of vermouth. So in this case, we're going to stir this one. Right, no, not a lot of ice chips. It's not, not gonna have a lot of water in it but there's lots of ice, it's nice and cool. We're gonna take this out of our glass here. And this is our martini with coconut water. Begging for a twist. Remember, try to cut a thin slice that doesn't grab a lot of white. That's pretty good. A little twist. The oil comes off. You can put it in the glass. Don't put it around the glass. And let's taste this. That's delicious. So for those of you who don't like vermouth, even if it hasn't gone sour, coconut water. Remember, a good martini is all about balance and it's damn delicious. Curious as to when I most need a martini? Please view the other video I posted recently, the best way to register your copyright. Success requires a good cocktail. Yeah. Your work is registered. You are now entitled to statutory damages, which are damages that you